What is up guys and welcome to today's video. Today is the day I'm finally going to reveal to you guys what exactly it is I've had under the table this past month on the way for my Genesis. Finally, here it is, the secret I have been keeping from you guys for what seems like forever, wide bodying my Genesis Go. All right, so we are back. Today is a new day. I have the full kit that I'm excited to show you guys here. This is awesome. The rear came yesterday. These are the pieces that are gonna go on the rear bumper. And then the little tiny pieces there are actually the pieces that go with the front. Shout out to Monster Service for quality products. So there's a couple things I had to order last minute because I actually honestly did not think the kit was gonna be here this fast. So I, being lazy, put all this stuff off. So the stuff that I actually had to order here, the Clico clips, these are what's gonna hold in uh, this rear portal panel piece and it'll stay on the car kind of like as a temporary bolt basically. The second thing, hardware from Z-Spec Design went with the rubber well nuts. These are a kind that you can remove and reuse again. The other things I got that came with this, washers here. So these are gonna be what you're mainly gonna see on the outside. And then these here are washers that go right up against the kit itself so it doesn't damage the paint. Last, here are the bolts that the kit comes with as well. All right guys, so the last piece to the puzzle has finally arrived. My spacers from 1320 Performance. I know I said earlier on that I was gonna run with crappy fitment for a while and I decided I can't do that. So here are those. I'll go ahead and show you guys what they look like. Probably already getting criticism here from some of you guys because you saw just how gigantic these spacers are. The kit itself in the front adds 40 millimeters. In the rear, it adds 60 millimeters. I am just trying to have fitment basically the same as what I have now with stock body. Uh, my offset is plus 22. I'm running 19 by 9.5 in the front and 19 by 10.5 in the back. In the front, I ordered 20 millimeter spacers. And for the rear, yes. <laughs> I got 38 millimeter spacers, so I know, I know. This shit is literally as big as my hand. And as long as we install them correctly, I know that I can probably rely on them. These are some thick boys. This is a little more realistic. This is the 20 mil for the front. I'm a little bit less worried about these. Later that same evening. Say hi. <laughs> okay, today is the day guys. We are test fitting the kit. So the rear is the only part we actually have to drill and cut. The front, I have the full replacement fenders. So let's get started. I can't wait for this to be wide. What are we looking at over here? Oh, Jesus. Oh. It's definitely not exact, but. Dude. <laughs> That's how I feel too. Yay! Nice. There's my other fender liner. Yes. Holy 
Holy shit, not throwing that one out. I'm everybody day one done peace out I'm wearing a thong. <laughs> okay, much better. <laughs> and with that, welcome to day two <laughs> of cutting up my car. What do I do with the goat? He's <laughs> following. He's just following me everywhere. Come on, baby, let's go. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on. Me in my driveway. Yep. <laughs> How slow can you fucking walk? <laughs> You're like hell. Everybody. We did unplug the battery. So yes, you should always unplug your battery when you are welding on the car. Otherwise, if you don't, there's a chance you could really screw something up. So yes, unplug your battery. Da, da, da. Driver's side is now welded up. Next, we're gonna grind off these extra tabs and then I'll go over it with sealer, just like I did on the other side. So this side's pretty much the closest to being done. All we have to do is sand it after I go over it again and it is literally finished. Nice glasses.
Okay. 